Hi everyone, my name is Riaz Mahmoud and I'm here to present uh, the productivity software called Bamboo Paper Notebook. Uh, whenever you hear the name Bamboo Paper, one question comes up to your mind, what is Bamboo Paper Notebook? It sounds like a paper notebook. Yes, there is the catch. It sounds like a paper notebook and it enables you to do the exact same thing on this software. So, what is it? who developed this uh, software? Well, once the question comes up to your mind, you can uh, check the internet and you will not understand that Bamboo is a trademark product of the tablet, famous tablet company called Wacom. They have a bunch of different kind of um, styluses and uh, tablets for every single group of artists, you say artists, or every kind of people out there. Uh, they have uh, various different like complex, simple, whichever you want, they have it. So, uh, so uh, this Bamboo Paper Notebook application turns the whole tablet uh, into a notebook. Yes, I've been saying that. You guys might have been wondering why. Why am I saying the same thing again and again? Like turn the tablet into a notebook. How is that possible? Yes. That's why I'm here to show you how is that possible. So if you're using a Mac or um, if you're using a Windows uh, PC, you see whenever you hit the Windows button, you can actually access this. And this software is actually available in all, uh, also in iTunes and Google Play Store and also for the Windows App Store. So let's just get ahead and start uh, with this. Uh, awesome software and let's just learn a little bit about it so first you let's hit the windows button it takes us to the start menu and then I already have this pinned in my start menu so uh, either you can do that if you don't you can go to the search button search area and then write bamboo paper it's already showing up here so you can either click here or click here so let's just go ahead and click see uh, I already created Two for uh, like test purpose, I created two bamboo paper notebooks. You can see they're like of different colors, so uh, it gives you an instant idea that you can actually edit the color of the notebooks and stuff. So how do we do that? Uh, in here, I will use the cursor to show you guys mm, where exactly am I clicking, but um, this whole application is a touch based UI so whatever I'm doing using the touch you can do the same thing as using the mouse so uh, if we go go ahead and swipe from the bottom of the screen we can see a bunch of uh, icons here this is the delete button this is called the exporting the whole notebook if you want the, your whole notebook in a PDF you can also do that so how great is that if you have a bunch of stuff in your notebook and you want it to be a PDF and you can print it print the whole thing so yeah, and this is for uh, importing something from outside. So you can either go up and get something, and or you can get back. You can already um, import a notebook like that. So let us just open. So uh, for the test pur purpose, uh, let's open one of those uh, notebooks that I already created. So let's double click on it. It opens. Okay. So here we can see the whole, the so first page of my notebook, it's called IT601 Research Topic, as you can see, but I'm a paper notebook and my name, and, and my name underneath it. So you can see a bunch of uh, buttons uh, across like all over the pages. This is actually the home button, which takes you to the choosing of the uh, which notebook you want and then this is if you want to import from camera or you can go from import an image from the files and you can just undo button and redo button as usual and here is your all type of uh, pencils brushes and all tools and the sizes here so you can get the colors various colors from here and this is the old fashioned eraser you can either use erase like that or you can just clear the whole page uh, and this button helps you to like, eliminate the buttons for now 
so you get a like clear idea of what your uh, clear uh, area so that you don't accidentally press anything so let's just go ahead and get it so uh, from here there's another option you can if you swipe from the bottom of the screen you can see how many pages you've created and you can also delete the single page like just with creating and then delete you can export it from somewhere you can save it you can uh, copy it in the clipboard and paste somewhere and you can create new pages from here so um, let's just uh, let's go ahead and come up with some examples that might that will help you to better uh, understand this software and how to use it, like why you should use it so uh, one thing is like uh, I like to do with the software is let's say I'm checking uh, so let's say you're a TA and a student came to you and they're asking for your assistance in some of these pages and they don't have it they already submitted and I like as a TA you like to keep copies of it so you already have that picture with you and then you select it and you bring the whole thing here and as you can see you can drag the whole thing it's users you can pinch zoom and out so zoom in out and you're showing him her. So this is going to make it look anywhere, anyhow, however you want it's there. So once you're satisfied with the position and where it is situated, and then you just click outside this your picture and then you select whichever color you want. And then let's say we're going to use red since we're trying to teach someone. So, so what he's asking is asking. Uh, what is the frame size? 20 bits. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's true. And this is also true. It's also true. So uh, you can actually send him, show him his grade. I'm like, yeah, you have to display it. This is not right. And you can just do it instantly for the checking and purpose. Uh, for another purpose, let's say we want to keep clear this and. Then Let's say we want to create another image file, which is like let's say you're an artist, like uh, so you want to select this image. So this is an image that I got from the from a movie at the end of the movie. So I felt like uh, I really wanted to redraw this thing. So you can actually uh, redraw just the whole thing. Uh, so. Either you can use the stylus or you can just use some something uh, your finger. Let's just go ahead and say we can we'll change the color a little bit. Just we can we want to make it a little bit more different. And we want to put something here. Let's change the color. We want to draw the whole road. Can put that. You can also do something like that. <clears throat> so what I did. So um, another thing that I like to do is uh, you take the open the image file, you go here, select the image. So this is actually a list of the movies that I want to watch or I already have watched. So I once I'm select, uh, satisfied with the position that I want to put it in and then started crossing it out or like yeah I watched Daredevil, I watched Walk to Remember, I was watched this. Either you can do it like this or like yep I watched this and the next movie that you want to watch is like John Carter. So you write the date and time here like let's say September thirtieth. Mm, so whatever you want to so you can actually also do that too. So uh, that is actually the end of the presentation, end of my presentation is uh, I hope you guys learned something and if you have any question I'll be coming with you with the um, workshop and we will be, I'll be glad to help you out with the workshop and please note anything if you want, specifically uh, if you want to ask me something really specific, note everything and I'll be very glad to help you out. Thank you for it. Thank you for staying with me all this time. Thank you so much.